So one more thing we need to cover about Galilean transformations. So these equations here, they tell us how to go from time and position measurements in one reference frame to time and position measurements in another. But what about velocity measurements? So let's see. So as before, let's say we have two frames, a frame at rest and a frame that's moving with speed beta. And we want to know what might an observer in this frame um, think for a velocity given a certain velocity here. So let's say, all right, this is our moving frame. Again, let's imagine that this is a train. And maybe Beowulf throws something on the train and observes a certain speed. So Beowulf throws, is on the train and throws something, and that speed would be V prime. That's the speed um, that Beowulf would observe. So maybe he's on a train and he throws a ball at speed at a certain speed. We'll call that V prime. Now, if we're um, on the ground here watching the train go by, what speed would we see this going at? Well, we would see the speed V prime plus the speed beta. It would be going even faster to us because we would add together the speed of the train beta and the speed of the ball that was just thrown. In other words, V would be V prime plus beta. So the velocities would add. We would see the velocity of the ball that's thrown on the train plus the velocity of the train so that overall to us the ball is going at this speed V prime plus B. And we could work this around So that then it's in this form with the primes on the left. So this would be the um, transformation equation for velocities under Galilean relativity. And I should mention that implied here, I didn't write it, is that, this, that the velocity is all in the x direction. Okay, um, really quickly, let me just mention for those of you who um, know calculus, that we can also get this same result using calculus. So if I take this equation and then imagine I took the derivative of both sides, the time derivative of both sides of this equation. Certainly a legal move, let's see. So if I take the derivative of the position, well that's the velocity. And that's going to be the velocity in the prime frame, the moving frame. If I take the derivative of the position, that's the velocity. This is a velocity in the unprimed frame, the stationary frame. And then the derivative of beta t, beta is a constant, derivative of t is one, which is the same thing that we had over here. In any event, this equation tells us how um, we can relate velocity measured in one frame to velocity measured in another frame.